the boy excitedly showed his invention to his father. He removed the battery from the radio, but when he turned on its switch, it still made sounds. His father, who had never been to school, looked puzzled. The boy explained to him that this was a wind turbine. The windmill was driven by wind to generate electricity. After listening to the boy's explanation, he seemed to understand but still praised the boy's invention. After getting his father's approval, the boy took the opportunity to tell his father the purpose of coming to see him. He wanted to build a bigger wind turbine to drive a water pump to draw water from a deep well to solve the current drought problem. But he needed to dismantle his father's expensive bicycle as part of the generator. The boy thought he would get his father's consent. But after listening to him, his father felt that his idea was unrealistic. He angrily asked him why he thought he could solve the drought problem that had plagued the village for thousands of years. Was it because he invented this broken toy? <laughs> The boy's rebuttal made his father furious. He smashed the boy's invention roughly. He thought that if the boy really wanted to contribute to the family, he should farm with him instead of indulging in some unrealistic fantasies. Facing his father's misunderstanding, he collapsed helplessly on the dry land and sobbed aggrievedly. But he was stubborn and did not give up. So he found a group of friends and planned to forcibly dismantle his father's bicycle. But despite the advantage in numbers, he was easily scared away by his father with a hoe. Seeing more and more people in the village starving to death, the yellow dog that had accompanied him for many years was also leaving him. He wanted to do something but had no way to do it. The cracked land made him feel deeply desperate. The mother did not want to wake up one morning and see her son die of hunger at home. So she asked the boy's father what else the family could lose. <laughs> Looking at his wife's disappointed eyes, he fell into deep reflection and maybe he should believe in his son. He accompanied the boy to completely dismantle the most valuable bicycle in the family. The boy also used the parts he usually picked up from the garbage to assemble a simple generator. With the joint efforts of the villagers, they built a tall frame with wood on the ground. Under the gaze of the whole village, the generator completed the final assembly. When the boy untied the wire that fixed the windmill, the fan blades began to rotate under the wind. The boy stood quietly on the windmill. The despair brought by months of drought also drifted away with the wind at that moment. The wheels will rub the generator and send electricity through the wire to the machine that drives the water pump. The sound of the water pump turning instantly attracted the attention of the villagers. The father excitedly hugged the boy into his arms. The water flowed down the trough into the dry land. The father turned his head and looked at his son. His eyes were full of pride and apology. The boy understood the look his father gave him. They just looked at each other in silence, but it was better than a thousand words.